Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking a hardy, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Contrary to foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins are the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings in a one feet one trying to see who wins. And UFC. Manchester City 6, Manchester United 3. And I would say that the scoreline flattered Manchester United a lot more. You know, we have to keep in mind that four game winning streak. We haven't played Premier League in a month, but that four game winning streak, it really brought a lot of optimism to the fan base, a sense of false reality almost. Now, don't get me wrong. Those games did show progress. But I remember, I've always been a firm believer that this season, we will see a lot of inconsistencies because that is what Manchester United have been for the last several years. Inconsistent. With the players that we've signed, the managers that we've had, the results in general. We have been really inconsistent. At the board, the ownership, really inconsistent. Hashtag Glazers out. <clears throat> and we have to keep that, before I get on to my main thing, we have to keep that moving because it has become rather stagnant as of recent and that can't be the case so hopefully there are you know the people in the background on social media organizing those protests because it, it, it's really needed this ownership there needs to be a change um i'm not going to speak about manchester united's financial information and stuff like that but year in year out it's getting worse and this club is being run into the ground by the owners by the glazers and that's all i'll say about that but back onto the game. It was disappointing, not because we lost to Manchester City, but in the manner of how we lost. When you take yourself all the way back to Brighton, to Brentford, those two first two games of the season, when we lost and we lost embarrassingly, it was the manner of how we lost that game. Not the fact that we lost, it was the manner. And once again against Manchester City, this is the best team in the Premier League. Possibly the best team in Europe. So there is no embarrassment in losing to Manchester City. But where the embarrassment comes in is your personal performances, your personal prides, and then who you are as a collective. And for far too long now, a lot of the personnel that exist within this Manchester United team have not played well as a collective, have not done themselves the club and the fans proud those fans go there week in week out whether it is away days whether it is old trafford they sing their hearts out and for the past several years whoever has been here whoever has been in that starting lineup plus the bench for most of the time they've given them absolutely nothing and that manchester city game was another example of that and i'm sorry I'm not trying to be ultra negative, really not trying to be ultra negative, but I'm trying to be realistic at the same time, because in the end of the day, things have to improve. Personnel have to change. And if things don't improve in time, then we'll just continue going in this vicious cycle, this vicious cycle of inconsistency, not winning trophies, not being in the positions that we know where we should be. So that's where the frustrations lie with me. When you have a couple of days to think about things, assess the game, maybe look at highlights, maybe rewatch the game again. <laughs> yeah, it may, may be torture, but you can do that if you want, if you want to analyze the game. You develop different opinions. You see different things. And I couldn't really see anything different. And, and that was a concerning thing, of course. This will be a season full of inconsistencies once again, but these type of performances need to be a marker for Eric Ten Hag and co. For those board members up there preparing for the summer transfer window, these type of games need to be markers because if these type of performances are happening more times than not, are these or certain, certain players 
within this team that have been here for a long time? Are those the personnel that you want to keep within this club as you continue to try and rebuild the culture and everything that has gone wrong within the institution of Manchester United Football Club? Are those the personnel that you want to build with going forward? That is the question I'm going to ask you. Because there needs to be a level of ruthlessness now. And it's not just about what's going on on the pitch. It's about what's going on off the pitch. Because you need to hold yourselves accountable too. Because I haven't forgot about that transfer window. And how slacky tidy that was. How poorly executed that transfer window was. And how poorly executed up and coming transfer windows will be. Prove me wrong. As for the ownership, I'm done with them. They have already proven to us. That they are not willing to treat Manchester United like what the club deserves. Like a football club. And that is that. But for everybody else, it's your time to prove all of us wrong. Players, coaches, board members. Show that you can make Manchester United football club a success. Because I tell you, these type of results, whether we're in a rebuild or not, are absolutely unacceptable and that is that first and foremost big up to everybody watching be sure to drop a like subscribe to youtube cm22 ent and also follow on twitch where my guy cm will be playing games watching football watching nba watching wrestling Back to this. Now listen, CM has said, basically said everything that needs to be said. But I want to say this last thing. Because you know what? I'm sick and I'm tired of watching a Manchester United game and having to be subjected to this. How many times are we going to come here and speak about the basics of the game? The basics of football. And I'm not going to say it again because CM already said it. But six, six goals, four nil at half time. Is that how you're gonna go out? First goal goes in, heads are down. They came out after half time and they were still waddling around, still jogging. Now what we don't do here is call out individuals, but we're gonna call you out as a team. We're going to call you out as a collective and that includes the coaching staff, that includes the players, the board, everybody that is involved in the operations of the football club. We're going to call you out and demand more. When CM plays football manager, there's the option on the pitch, demand more bridging. You ain't doing enough, you ain't executing on the game plan like we spoke about, like how we prepared week in, week out. Seven days a week or maybe six because you have to minus one for the game, but that's not the point We demand more from you and you should demand more of yourselves Because you are professionals at the top the highest level You got there by demanding everything from yourself every little fiber of your hair on your body every little bit of blood pumping through your veins you used every single bit of it to reach where you are today. So why does that stop now? Use it. Channel it. And be better. Was I looking forward to it? All I dreamed never should have had confidence for the team. They let down millions, too many beams. And I swear if I see another message, I'll scream. Taking hits, too many failing trips. Yeah, it's just another title stripped. No contest when the stakes up high. So what? I will get another training pick. Was I looking forward to it? All I dreamed never should have had confidence for the team. They let down millions, too many beams. And I swear if I see another message, I'll scream. Taking hits. 
hits Too many fading trips, yeah it's just another title stripped No contest when the stakes up high so what car will get another training pick one, two, three, four, five, six, nah. Wait a minute, are you taking a no. Just another day getting washed up like a dish or instead get a slap, be a tired with a fish. Is this a big deal? Damn right it is. The contest one side, no fight it is. A concern, but the process lingers. Would it be another left swipe like Tinder? It's Charles play in a six. We scored back three, but the city was lacking. We were out on attack. Anthony with a special answer. Then Martial with extra brother. Not that many positives to think about when it's your rivals you want a scotch up but this ain't the age for planting marker cause the club stink up just like a butter was i looking for a word to it all i dream never should have had confidence for the team they let down millions too many memes and i swear if i see another message i'll scream taking hits too many failing trips yes yeah, just another title stripped no contest when the stakes up high so what car will get another training pick was i looking for a word to it all i dream never I should have had confidence for the team They let down millions, too many memes And I swear if I see another message I'll scream Taking hits, too many failing trips Yeah, it's just another title stripped No contest when the stakes up High so what car will get another training pick